As a senior parent, I am not happy with the policy. My mom said that she doesn't really have a strong opinion on the policy. I've been asked to express my opinion about the charter school senior problem. And she trusts my judgment for what's best for my education and for my safety. It's my belief that anybody that wants to go to this prom should be able to go. It's kind of a rite of passage and people really consider what can be done to make it a safe experience. They'll figure out a way to make it work. If this is you, you're not alone. This was going to be a panic segment, but as of Thursday, February 18th at 10.15 a.m., there is no reason to panic. Yes, there are a lot of sources all over the internet about senior events, who gets to go, where they get to go, what gets done, when they get going, but hear me, admin, Mr. Springer, Mrs. Robbins, and the senior class officers, they really have worked hard to bring us more clarification. So do not fear. Most of all, graduation is of utmost importance and none of this applies to it. All students at home or at school can go there. Miss Robbins is working diligently to find a location. The literally on-campus events can only be attended by those who are on campus, are there. There are dates by which you should start attending a school to go. The class of 2021 Instagram posted, you must be in school by March 1st to attend the March events and March 29th after spring break to attend all other events. Now, there are concerns attending on-campus learning for a whole quarter. It's much more risky than the length of one event. So for those people who have that worry, justifiably so, I would urge you all not to attend. The events are on campus after all. Spike ball might even be at a park, in which case all seniors and those online would be eligible. As of now, Margaritaville is still on. There is a 200 person capacity and the 200 tickets will be first come first serve for the on-campus students first, then at home. Now I hear your concerns, but hear admin stats. This is the infection rate at Charter for those who have tested positive for COVID. This is the number of students at Charter who have contracted their COVID at Charter. Springer says whether you decide to learn on campus or online, the stats will stay the same. He has unwavering faith in this statement. But of course, leaving quarantine to be around hundreds of seniors is most troubling and despite often failed attempts at social distancing, shown here, and proper mask wearing, there are so many risks. So Charter can guarantee the option per the executive order for online learning. It will make sure that you have that option. So be at peace. I'm Savannah Cox, and this is CSNN.